Okay. Well, this is Queen Bee. Hi, and she has I'm Queen Bee, and uh, we are a family of seven, the Netterberg family, and we're through hiking, and we're trying to get our triple crown this year. Yeah. So, what year did you do the AT? 2020. So you're. Oh, and then, and then the CDT was last year, and then the PCT is a crazy year this year. Yeah. But we're having fun and making the most of it. Yeah. And uh, the kids are off eating because they're like locusts. Yeah. <laughs> and what are their ages? Uh, we have a three rider, and she's two, and then seven is the beast, and angel wings is nine, and she's almost ten, and let's see, boomerang is twelve, <laughs> and blaze is fourteen. Oh. So, yeah. Yeah, we got a whole crew. <laughs> yeah. So do you carry the two? Yeah, my husband carries uh, dead weight. Dead weight. <laughs> yeah, that's her name. And uh, she's starting to hike a little bit now. Yeah. But oh, good. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, and we're really enjoying the family time. Yeah. Okay. Well, lots of uh, praise to you. <laughs> it's hard enough to get for me to drag myself along. <laughs> it takes the worry off of our own worries because we're constantly thinking about what to do for them. So That's we don't true. have to think about like the hurt in my foot or yeah. whatever else is wrong with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hope you guys make it <laughs> this Thank year. Thank you. Uh -huh. Riding in the back of the Pacific Power Truck. <laughs> yeah, he's very, very crazy. <laughs> oh, <No way>. yeah. <laughs> Let your glasses blow off. <laughs> so teeny, teeny tiny. If I sit very still, they won't see me. They don't see me. Where's my mama? Oh, 
Well, it's actually evening. We forgot to talk yesterday. We made it to Mazama, ran into our good friends, the Italians, John Carlo. John Carlo and Alexandra. Uh, Alexandra. Alexandra, yes. Very nice people. Yes. And really so like we them. camped near them. We found the PCT camp <clears throat> spot, which turned into be kind of an interesting place to camp because people lots would. Lots of other people found it. Lots of other people come in different times. But usually people quiet down pretty well. And a uh, wayward dog from yeah. one camper family that visited us a couple of times. Yeah. But, yeah, so we did our chores that day. And is that it? So I'm trying to think. Shuttle to the rim. Not that day. Oh. The day we no, got we, there. We did our chores the, the day we went up. If I did them or the laundry early. Oh. Well, we took showers anyway. And we ate and ate a lot of food, good food there. And then the next day, we all, um, the Italians and us went up to the, or we went up to the rim on the shuttle, free shuttle, and then we paid for the tour around the uh, lake, which was interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And kind of a cloudy, somewhat part, kind of a cloudy yeah, day. Yeah, yeah pretty busy up there and we ate some more and then went back down and ate some more <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then uh, and drank beer and <clears throat> yeah we uh had some beer with uh with beers with them and yeah it was nice just getting to know them better and oh. they don't think they speak very good english but we have had not no problems communicating with them at all. Yeah, it, so we've had lots of chats. We have had, we can chat about anything we want. I mean, it, it works. So, yep, went through our resupply, got all organized, and then this morning we <coughs> all got up pretty early. And the most fun part was we were going to hitchhike up to the rim, and a specific power truck came by and stopped. first vehicle, first one said we could sit in the back and I said you have room for two more so we, all four of us climbed in the back of the truck up to the rim so that was fun we'll have video of that of course which you may have already seen if you're watching this and we said our goodbyes again and um yeah then we hiked along the rim which was pretty difficult at times up and down very beautiful but a lot of steep up a lot of steep down emphasis on steep yes very steep and but then we took off into the flatland and walked in flat for a long time so we're still in the flatland but nice day perfect weather and some clouds but cool temperatures and we have this lovely spot out here logical pine forest yeah we don't think we'll have any neighbors tonight which will be a nice change of pace so get up and go pee in the middle of the night without wondering if people are going to see you. Which, at the campground at Mazama was, there were people, tents everywhere, so. The water situation is working out better, it looks like, than this stretch sounded like pretty challenging for water initially, but there's a couple of caches, I guess, and found yeah. one of them today. So I think it's going to work out. Yep. Tomorrow we'll go around Mount Thielsen. And... That's Across that. the high point. Yeah, the high point of Washington. Oregon, Washington. We have lots of exciting things to look forward to. So that's all for now. We don't want to make this too boring. <laughs> okay. Night. Here's the spot that Goldilocks found for us tonight. It was just right. It's got a nice log for sitting on nearby. This is the bulbous forest. Weird. Need to find out what these are. <laughs> 